Sea of Thieves can take a long time to play, and I don't just mean the number of hours it could take to buy your own ship, become Pirate Legend, or even GET GOOD at PvP, but also every session can take a while. Raise an embassy flag, find a fight, and taking part in a world event are all long-term investments, and it's not uncommon for larger crews to have a 4-5 to five hour session just to get the ball rolling. So say you've got half an hour until you need to go to bed, and instead of learning to read... Learning to read? I hope you know how to read by now. And instead of learning to play a musical instrument or reading, you decide to play the funny pirate game instead. What can you get done? Well, I've got a couple of ideas. I'm sure you saw this coming from a nautical mile away, but these stony bastions of the sea are kind of irrelevant now. They have nothing new to offer and their story purpose is complete. Reg, can we get a makeover please? Anyway, while they're still in their current state, the forts are a great way to make some quick crap. Quick, quick, Quick cash. Out of the Embassy flags, the Gold Hoarder is the best, but really any of the core group is worth a level or so. Now you're probably thinking, why not raise the Reaper's flag? Well, as well as the risk of having a big fight that could take you too long to actually sell your loot in time, you also then only have one place on the map to sell to, right in the middle, and actually quite a good way away from where all the forts are. If you want to clear the fort as fast as possible, use a pistol for the basics and pull out a blunderbuss for the boss. Make sure you use the box on the middle floor, that will help you without having to return all the way to your ship. On the subject, the fastest place to collect the loot is using the hatch next to where the water is in the basement. One of the best things about the fortresses is that they're so fast, you can probably get a couple done within a half an hour section. If this is the case, the best region you want to be in is the Ancient Isle, as those two fortresses are the closest together out of all of them, and both quite close to Plunder Outpost. Actually, Plunder Outpost is a pretty good spot to spawn if you want a quick session for the next one as well. On the subject of cool looking areas that are going to be left behind by the player base, shrines and treasuries also make this list. Which one you pick is really up to you, but it depends if you're a big fan of fighting crab people or really like knockoff Zelda dungeons. And if you know anything about me, I bet you can guess which one I'll be picking. The two best options on the map are the Treasury of Lost Ancient and the Shrine of Flooded Embrace. The former due to how close it is located to Reaper's Hideout and the Shrine of Flooded Embrace because there are no puzzles to solve. Again, nearly any Embassy flag will help here. Gold Hoarders for the bonus on the big chest. Merchants for all the small trinkets that they should really use everywhere else and the Order of the Soul because how else are you going to raise the Embassy level? The Lost Ancient Treasury is very tempting to raise the Reaper's Flag, especially when spawning at Plunder's Outpost. And yeah, it has its benefits, you could make a lot of money, but you'll also be leaving your boat on the surface of the water unattended for 10 to 20 minutes, only asking it for it to be attacked. So, yeah, just don't raise the Reaper Flag if you're going to have a short, short session. Having said that, a lot of crews are quite scared when they see a reaper flag and will actively stay away from you, even if you are parked on top of a shrine, because they could think you're quite a large ship with someone on board. Either way, it's up to you. Do what you want. I'm not your mother. At least I hope not. On the subject of risk, why not smash down that hourglass and go for a quick solo sleep fight? Unlike the methods mentioned earlier, you're at a higher risk of not making any money or possibly even losing it if you do decide to buy supplies. But given how quickly you want the fight to be being, I recommend you don't do that. Of course, fighting with a 30 minute time limit adds some difficulties to the fray. You're going to want to try and play fast and quick. And if you're never an opponent that doesn't want to do that, you might be in trouble. But with the recent changes to how long it takes to find a match, hopefully you won't be waiting in the queue for your whole half an hour. Right, Rare? Right? Hold up, I've just had a thought. We didn't actually talk about the original factions when it comes to this 30 minute challenge, did we? Well that's because those old guys can still take a while. Gold Hoarders and Order of the Soul have you jumping island to island, either collecting loot or shooting papyrus. But the merchants on the other hand? They're all about speed. Put on your uniform, buy a merchant run, and unload your goods. Yes, you have to manage your loot a bit and avoid the storm at all costs, but they're by far the fastest voyages to complete because you don't have to return to an outpost to get paid. Funnily enough though, this is one of those cases where raising the amnesty flag won't make a massive difference. This is because I recommend leaving the server you're currently on and joining another every time you've finished a run. This way you'll get back to an outpost faster than having to sail back. 
as long as you have at least a somewhat decent bit of hardware, of course. And once you're back at the outpost, there's definitely something you could be doing. SPENDING ALL OF YOUR GOLD! Instead of waiting for a time when you have a galleon full of friends to play with, and then decide to waste 20 minutes looking around Sanctuary Outpost for an outfit, only to decide to stick with the Reaper's pajamas, DO YOUR SHOPPING NOW! It's not that hard! It's not that hard! Just do it now when there's no one around! You don't need to wait for everyone to be like, you don't need to wait for that! Why do you do this every time, every time you do this? Press, press, press the subscribe button. Thank you.